How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Strictly Nintendo, where I wanted to talk about Nintendo Switch. I mean, what a great day this was. For some of us, we had already been up, but some of us were just waking up, and we get to see this new teaser trailer and finally find out what the NX really is. Now, obviously, there's the question of pricing, but I honestly think that that $299 for the base and then $399 for a bundle is probably going to be fairly accurate. We have questions of maybe specs. Those will roll out in time, but I think that at this point in time, with NVIDIA obviously confirming on their blog that they are the power source behind Switch, that we're most likely going to be seeing some type of custom variant of the X2. But there was a lot of information that came out in the video and after the video, not just the announcement from NVIDIA, but we saw announcements from Bethesda talking about how they're excited to be a partner, as well as we saw information coming from Ubisoft confirming that more than just Just Dance 2017 is going to come out, and also to see EA Sports come back. I'm not a fan of EA Sports, I don't really care for sports games anymore, but that's still a big deal. In the video, we saw a new Mario. We saw Mario Kart, some type of uh, expanded content, Mario Kart 8. Uh, we saw something that could be an expanded content Splatoon or a new Splatoon. We saw NBA 2K, and we saw Skyrim Remastered. And these are all very big things to have confirmed in just a video. But the one thing that I loved about the video the most is that here, outside of price, outside of specs, there's no questions. You know what the Switch is. You know what it's capable of. And you saw some of the games that spanned several genres. I mean, it's very concise. That was one of the best piece of advertisements that I have seen from Nintendo in a very long time. And I have to give them mad props for that. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you for doing such a great job in explaining what the Switch is in a short amount of time that kept our attention spans and blew us away. Brilliant. Now, something else that a lot of people pointed out about that video that I thought was really cool was that nowhere in that video were families playing. You know, you had 20-something, 30-something-year-old people either enjoying their games at home or going out with friends and playing with friends anywhere and everywhere. So it seems like Nintendo's really trying to market this towards the Nintendo social aspect, but more of a core gamer and not necessarily trying to carry on that family-friendly thing. Now, I mean, obviously, they're still going to have that. We'll still see the Yoshi's Woolly World kind of stuff. We'll still see things of that nature, but I like the direction that they're going. But then we get the sampling of Nintendo Switch partners, and we have 505. Activision, Atlas, Bandai Namco, Bethesda, Capcom, EA, uh, obviously Platinum and Sega, Square Enix, that's another big one, TT, Ubisoft, Warner Brothers. There's just so many great names. Support for the Unity engine, support for the Unreal 4 engine, and support for Cryware. Just a lot of great content that we were able to discover in this very short period of time, and I think that this is going to have a huge impact on the gaming world, because obviously Nintendo, they own the portable market, and here we have this tablet-like device that's got a nice big screen on it that looks gorgeous according to the, the video, and uh, you have these detachable controllers. You can put them on there and you have this portable device but then you have a kickstand where you can set up the tablet screen on its own, pull off the controllers, and you have too many controllers to do multiplayer anywhere. And the split D-pad on the left side also doubles as your A, B, X, Y buttons when it's playing as a single controller. And that's just brilliant. And then you can take it home, you put it in the dock, you're playing on your TV as a home console, you can take the controllers off of the tablet and then put it into the controller housing and you have your Switch controller there. Or you can have the controller attached to the tablet while it's in the dock and you have this like Pro Controller meets GameCube controller and that's really cool. So that it seems like they've done a lot of intelligent things to make this a very accessible and flexible device, whether you're playing by yourself at home or on the go, whether you're playing with friends at home or on the go, uh, being able to utilize the Pro Controller, GameCube style controller, even in portable mode. Just very, very cool kind of concept here, and this is everything that makes Nintendo special. The fact that it's something that you can enjoy at home but pick up 
and take on the road that plays to the handheld market and Nintendo handhelds always do very well. I mean, if the 3DS is any, you know, anything close to what we're going to see for the Switch, I mean, come on, that's almost guaranteed 50 million consoles, right? So, I mean, this this thing should take off. This thing should take off very well and do very well, and we should see a good bit of support. I'm interested in seeing how third parties are going to handle the cartridge. Not that they're not used to it, because obviously you know they're putting out games on the DS, DSi, 3DS, 2DS. You know, I mean, they've been putting games out on cartridges for quite some time with Nintendo handhelds. But to get a game to the level of a modern, you know, Call of Duty or Splinter Cell or EA Sports game or something like that, you you start to wonder how is this going to work. So there's still a lot to learn, but the future looks very, very bright. I cannot wait till March 2017, and I'm, I'm already scouring the internet. The very second I see anything go pre-order, I'm going to snipe that and secure one. But honestly, you know, I got to end the podcast here because If I don't, I'm going to keep rambling. I think we're all very, very excited. I hope that you got the opportunity to see the video when it launched. I hope that you're thrilled with it, and I really hope that you've enjoyed it and you're looking forward to it. I personally think that this is going to be great. There's a few questions out there, but for me, I see more positivity than anything else. I mean, I think this is going to be a huge hit, and I cannot wait to see how this all comes out. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to play it. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. Until the next time, take care.